to watch one video called Billy Eilish, same interview, one year apart, hello there, who joined for me? Yes, uh, be strong, brave hearted person, and uh, right now we will watch it. How did we do this? Maybe with... Oh, Jesus, it is our screen of chat room. Need to open this. Oh, jeez. Oh, my. Maybe like this way. This. And good. I really like this girl. I'm... I in love. I love this woman. I love this girl. I don't know what's... How old are she? But I want to... See this. Let's do this. My name is Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish. Uh, I think it's October 18th, 2017. It's October 18th, 2018. I'm 15. I'm 16. 16. I have oh, 257,000. I have 6.3 million followers. 1.1 1. 1 She looks like million. my girlfriend. 9.6 million Pretty when good. you look up Billie Eilish. It's a picture of me and Charlie XCX. Isn't it the one about me smiling? Of course it is. The one picture that I have smiling. The most followed person that follows me is Chloe Grace Moretz, who's the best. She has 13 million followers. Katy Perry, maybe? She is 72 million. I'd say probably Khalid, which is weird because he's like just a homie of mine. And like, I don't think Wilma is anything else. <laughs> SZA. I have Millie Bob Brown. SZA? Sabrina Claudio. Oh. Bad Baby. Lauren Horeg. She's Noah so Sire. emotional. Lee, Rich the Kid. Lil Zan. Lil Yachty. Kaya Gerber. Trippy Red. Miguel. Are you kidding me? Miguel. Miguel, one moment. Miguel. It is Rush. Is it Russian? One moment. Miguel. I will Google it. Mi. Gu. L. Who is it? No, it's not Russian. But in Russian we have the same. There's people that I've texted. Person. It was at the Crocodile in Seattle and it was like 500, I think. 500? It was at the Crocodile in Seattle and it was like 500, I think. That's what I said? <laughs> Whoa. That's so cute. Um, who? That was, uh, the best one I've had was Music Midtown in Atlanta. 40,000 people. Such a dream. Oh my God, such a dream. Every time I go anywhere. Hands down. I might be safe if I go to Trader Joe's. <laughs> but everywhere else is kind of, recognized which is actually really cool but it you know it's a lot kind of a lot actually but like not a ton it's kind of like maybe like once a week um I'm kind of jealous of Billy a year ago because I kind of I don't know I'm really not about to fucking pity myself for people recognizing who I am which is because it's like I'm really grateful for it but I don't know I, I would like to go to, I don't know, anywhere and not be always recognized. Whoa. Ugh. Don't be so sad. It's such a waste of time. Ah. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't live up to that then, and I still haven't lived up to that. So, it's good advice, though. It is a waste of time, dude. Ah. It's ruined so many things that could have been amazing because I was sad, dumb, but whatever. Don't post everything you think. Don't, just don't. If you're watching this right now, anybody, if anybody is watching this, don't post your feelings. Don't do it to yourself. Um. Don't do it to yourself. Um. Whoa. Tyler, the creator. 
No, I would love to meet. Ah, oh, I've not met him. Oh my god, I would explode if I met him. I met him. I met him <laughs> and it was great. <laughs> For me, he hits a he hits a part of me that nobody gets. Being Apple's up next artist. I was such a baby. I did Ellen last week, Jimmy Fallon, Lollapalooza, um, so many festivals. Went to Tokyo. I met Takashi Murakami. I went to his studio. Dave Grohl's daughter did a cover of my song. He played guitar for her at a talent show, I think, or something. There's been a lot of shit that's happened in the last year. My family, I'm, I'm always talking to my family, always. <laughs> Every second of my life. Fruitvale Station. Uh, Fruitvale Station. No. <laughs> uh, you know what? No, this, I can't afford a real chain. They are real. Now they are real. But it's all silver. Oh, yeah, my chains were gifts. I did not buy anything that I'm wearing. At all. None of it. I bought this, though. Nah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. What does she mean with pressure? What uh, does this question mean? What does this question mean? Because uh, she said like a uh, pressure. Pressure from wh whom? Yep. Yeah. It's the kind of pressure that's like it hits me and then I don't care. Everybody dropped dead right now and I didn't. I would be left with what I had created for myself. And what the hell would the point be if I was just creating something that somebody else wanted me to create that I had no say in, and then that person died, and everybody else died, and nobody mattered except me. I'm stuck with this shit I didn't want in the first place. That's trash. No, I'm handling the pressure horribly, but I just keep it to myself. All the time. Except my wall. I write everything I feel on my wall, so if you go in my room and look at my wall. Just, yeah. No, I don't like dating at all. I don't like the idea of, oh, this is my one person and I only share time with this person. No, no. No. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, I don't have a boyfriend. I, can't, I could not have a boyfriend. That would just be mean to him. Uh, I don't know. I almost had one for like a little, but it wasn't really exclusive, so I don't know what you call that. I hate things that are exclusive. Letting myself be mistreated for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> I had no idea what the fuck was coming. <laughs> Not really. Uh, yeah, I was really mistreated, and then I just realized I was better than that. And since then, I just I feel like I've I've just grown to know my worth. I think it's taken a minute, and I don't think I'm there yet, but I'm I'm getting there. Aw, uh, Billy was so hurt then. I was so hurt then, man. Shit. I want to learn that it's all worth it because it's tiring as heck and it is worth it and I have to remember that because being with like fans and doing shows is way more important than being tired. Is it worth it? Yes. Oh, she's so emotional. The shows make it worth it. The shows and the supporters. That is something you have to remember when it, it doesn't feel worth it. Um, because a lot of it doesn't feel worth it, but then you get to the points that do make it worth it, and it's like, then it all sort of makes sense and it kind of clicks in your head. No matter what you do, there's you can never, ever, ever please anyone ever. Ever, ever. Please? What does it mean? Please anyone ever. Ever. You can never ever please anyone ever ever. What? What are we watching? We are watching right now interview from uh, Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish is uh, she's artist. Uh, what I like, really like. I like your feelings. I like your emotional things. Uh, what? What does she say? What did? What did she say right now? You can never, ever, ever please anyone, ever. What's the biggest thing you've learned? 
learned it is like a lesson lesson what she learned and you can never ever please please anyone Slava, can you explain please for me what does please means please it is like a ah okay thanks ever ever oh it is uh, something about me because uh, i w i wanted to please for anyone when i started uh, to do my streams on the russian channel and uh, i thought about it and i did many many how to say it m many tensions pleasing people yes Elsa Slava if you want we can open after this video data camp <laughs> website I choo choose chose I chose I chose uh, course of R programming because uh, I it is uh, new for me I learned SQL on my not learned I yes I I was learning I was learning SQL on my uh, university at Moscow and uh, Elsa Python I I don't like it so much because uh, I have association in my mind about uh, people who likes it. It is maybe no need to think about other people's uh, relationships between Python. I think about Python like uh, it is uh, mental association with uh, person. But R it is something new for me, R programming language. True, never not true. What's the biggest thing you've learned? Any picture that is taken of you. If a picture is taken of you, somebody has it and somebody will use it against you. I wasn't allowed to, but I ran away from security and I... Previous uh, phrase, what, sh what she said about uh, that every single picture can could be used against you. Oh, why your why your comment? To, I would recommend to go for Python. R used to be. Did you delete your comment or why? Why did your comment delete? Why do we have your deleted comment right now? I would recommend to go for Python. R used to be dominant in data science. Python is one of the most popular worldwide languages. It has very powerful libraries, especially in artificial intelligence. Ah, by the way, I I th I saw I did a delete. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it is uh, bot, but uh, I have uh, the lowest uh, level of uh, <laughs> punishment. For, uh, for, for from uh, from custom bot from from default bot about art artificial intel intelligence I I saw video from uh, this person from India I I forget his name Sajar or Sijar uh, he he have created voice by uh, artificial intelligence i want i want to do the same do you know is it uh, is it hard or not and uh, how long sarash yes sarash yes absolutely right correct okay let's ran into a huge crowd 3 minutes and the video will end it 
I almost caused a stampede by sneaking through a crowd. Stampede? I almost caused a stampede by sneaking through a crowd. Stampede? What is stampede? Stampede, uh, maybe it is... It is like a... Walking? Walking on... On palms of... Uh, of car of a crowd maybe need to google meaning stem beat meaning currents in which a large group of frightened or excited animals or people run together in a wild uncontrolled way to escape from something get out of place let's see pictures <laughs> like from lion king Lion King when uh, Simba created uh, created roar and after that uh, some animals ran away. At Lollapalooza. I almost died and everyone else almost died. It's crazy shit. Whoa, Lil Wayne. So oh, to perform with Lil Wayne? That's a great answer. Wow, 15 year old me was ballin'. I really want to go to Japan again. I went to Japan a while ago and it was the most amazing time, so. I feel like Brazil might be crazy. Literally my first fan account was like, or like second fan account was like Billie Eilish Brazil. Brockhampton. Tierra Whack is sick. I like bright green a lot. I like black. <laughs> it's been pretty dark lately, so I've just wanted to be dark with it. The world, I mean. <laughs> I don't, and then one word, fucking no. <laughs> Judge me, please. <laughs> That's what I said? <laughs> Judge me, please. I still feel that way. Totally still feel that way. But this year, I guess I just don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on. She has a really brilliant accent. I like it. I feel this and that. I feel like everything needs to have a certain. This is in this category and this is in this. Like it's like I want to be everything. Like shut up. Don't tell me what I can't be. The hell. Mm. The music industry, man. We're all sad as hell. All these artists, we're sad as shit, dude. Everybody I know that's an artist. We are sad motherfuckers. <laughs> Why? Oh. Valis, thanks so much. Thanks so much for uh, for the following. Thanks a lot. You are welcome. Welcome to our party. Welcome to our party of <laughs> of communist communist party. Where are you from, my dear? Valis. My what? What does that even mean? What does that mean? Everyone is gonna die and no one is gonna remember you, so... Fuck it. What this bitch said. That's my phil philosophy. <laughs> really? Having the approach that no one's had. Trying to write something no one's written. I don't know if that's the best approach because you might just fail and then want to die. No one's written. I don't know if that's the best approach because you might just fail and then want to die. Ha like I have to write someone write something no one's ever heard. See, that's why I'm I'm still bad at it because that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Fuck. You better know how to drive, because I've been putting off driver's ed because that stuff stinks. I hate that stuff. I do know how to drive, shorty. Whoa, that is crazy. Oh. <laughs> Who is it? This is my mom. She's oh. sick as a booty, and she has laryngitis as heck. <laughs> oh, so, so cute <laughs> interview. What did I learn from this interview? I don't like. Uh, I no no. I I like your your approach to to speak your 
her emotions. I like uh, I like her accent. She's maybe American or not. Need to Google by the way. Billy Eilish. I like her appearance. She's attractive. She's eleven. Oh no, no, she's sixteen. Sixteen. Ah, right now she's almost eighteen. Wow. But uh, do she? Does she have boyfriend? Interesting question. Uh, ah, okay. In my opinion, Python is the most readable language with clear logic. It's very efficient. You can do most complicated stuff like neural networks with just a few lines of code. You're basically... But Slava, when, when did you learn... When did you start it? When did you start to learn programming? What's age? Do you remember? Maybe. You basically fill in parameters. Also, uh, and uh, one more question: How do you feel about uh, you, you? You are maybe polyglotis uh, or not? Uh, you maybe know more than three languages because uh, maybe Holland, Holland. What's language in Holland? Maybe Holland. Yes, Hollandish, Hollandish language plus English plus uh, Russian. Maybe one plus one more, like uh, France eh? and Germany. And what do you feel when Dutch? Yes, Dutch, absolutely right. And what do Dutch? It is a language that Belgiumish, Belgiumish, Belgiumish people use. Yes, Belgiumish people use Dutch, isn't it? German, Spanish and Portuguese on basic level. Ah, wie geht es dir? Komm sta, komm estas. Wow. Really nice. Mm, really. I, I, I don't know what to say, but uh, I have, I have opportunity to say it uh, to say my thoughts, but need to think m more time to find words in my memory to con connect it and to say fr the, f the phrase. You basically feel in parameters also same advanced, si same advanced libraries provide lots of performance boosts, which aren't available in R. And what, uh, what is your favorite language to use? What, what language do you use on uh, on your uh, how to say it? casual life, not casual, casual casual lifestyle. Like uh, you are go, y you, for example, you will go to the par park or shop or store or. Uh, something else and you will use what's language oh thanks Khalid Khalid branch thanks so much for the following Belgium French in South Wallo Wallonia North Belgium speaks Flemish which is Dutch dialect ah okay because uh, I have some my first my first followers on Twitch were from uh, from Belgium German, Spanish, and Portuguese. Okay. Only to play math formulas. Okay, let's open data camp. Let's use it. Data, not data. Data camp. Connect this. And right now, let's do this. Okay, and practice. Oi. 
I don't know how to do how to do to see two different chat rooms. No, how 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 to do to see chat and uh, chat room plus the screen. I don't call everyone my dear. It sounds weird. <laughs> oh, sorry, because in I remember how how it's sorry. Excuse me, where from by the way, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I remember <laughs> how I <laughs> how I how I was in my school time, in my school years, and I remember moment when we wrote uh, when we wrote um, what letters letters physical letters uh, by uh, by using pencil or pen, and uh, we wrote like my dear father. I will write to you message. Uh, sorry for uh, for being late or something like this. I learned Visual Basic at high school, Java at university, Python just one three two one two three years one two years ago. Python is my favorite. At work, I mean, mostly use SQL or DAX. Wow, DAX! I I don't know what is it. And uh, sometimes make use of Python libraries for cool tricks. Cool tricks. <laughs> okay. And uh, one more question about about a phrase. Sometimes make 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 use. Make use. What is it? Make use. And what is make sure? Make sure it is like a be confident in in something. Yes. And make use. It is. Uh, Make use. Ah, make use use. It is like a, 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 a pl appliance or how to say it. Uh, the way to use. Yes. Ah, in this way. Ah, okay. Thanks. It has its uses, but not in day-to-day -day interaction with strangers. Ah, okay. In Russia, we have the same situation with words like uh, "hello, brother." When somebody from Dagestan will say to you "hey, bro," "hello, brother," you will think like a uh, "hey, I'm not your brother." Okay, practice. Learn, learn. Where is R? Python. Introduction to Python. Let's open it. Well, I don't need to do this thing. Maybe need to open two chat rooms. Or how to do this? To the left side will be this thing. We'll go like this. Okay. And one more window capture it will be our mixer chat yes exactly super super drooper nice amazing okay let's learn it python is a general purpose programming language that becomes even more popular for data science okay <laughs> Slava, can you can you explain one thing? Can you say to me what if I will not be if I will not use Python if I will not like so so strong programming languages if I if I will not like programming it will it will be health will it be helpful to me to use uh, how to say it to to live to live with knowledge about programming but not use it 
I will have knowledge ab about it, but will not use. Will it be unuseful skill? Did you understand? Python basics. Uh, introduction to the basic concepts of Python. Learn how to use Python directly and by using a script. Create your first variables and useful for what? I I don't like I don't like programming. I learned it from my university. I don't like to s s to sit on uh, on chair so many so many amount of times. I don't like it. And I prefer to walk. I prefer to think about something and uh, communicate with somebody about it. And I prefer more active r daily routine. And will will be useful. Will it be useful? Will my knowledge about Python useful if I will learn it right now? If I will not useful, uh, if I will not use it, useful for what? Uh, Python was designed by a Dutch guy in nineties. Uh, Ut it really got popular recent years. Ut. Ut. What is? I don't like programming myself. That's why I use Python. Ah, Python. Python. Uh, Python is uh, so. How to say it? <laughs> I will. I will try to describe it. Python is uh, the easiest of uh, programming languages. No brain work, yes. But if you want get analysis of market data for master's final work with Python, you save lots of time. Ah, okay. Catbot. Why? Why catbot uh, deleted? I don't know why. Catbot. Are you joking? And by the way, Khalid. Khalid branch. What do you do? Okay, let's do Python basics. Hello Python, 50 experience, enter to Python for data science, let's watch. Hi, my name is Hugo and I'll be your host for Introduction to Python for Data Science. I'm a data scientist and educator at DataCamp and host of the DataFrame podcast, which you must check out. In this course, you will learn Python for Data Science through video lessons like this one and interactive exercises. You get your own Python session where you can experiment and try to come up with the correct code to solve the instructions. You're learning by doing while receiving customized and instant feedback on your work. Python was conceived by Guido van Rossum. Here, you can see a photo of me Guido with van Rossum. What started as a hobby project soon became a general purpose programming language. Nowadays, you can use Python to build practically any piece of software. But how did this happen? Well, first of all, Python is open source. It's free to use. Second, it's very easy to build packages in Python, which is code that you can share with other people to solve specific... I mean, there are honestly not many jobs in marketing more people than jobs. Okay. However, they do recruit a lot of marketing analytics. I'm not Khaled. That name was randomly assigned to be Mixer. Ah, but what's her name? Guido Van Rossum. Yes, <laughs> love. That... Ah, okay, Khaled. I mean, there are hands there, honestly. Uh, April, hello. Big problems. Throughout time, more and more of these packages specifically built for data science have been developed. Suppose you want to make some fancy visualizations of your company's sales. There's a package for that. Or what about connecting to a database to analyze sensor measurements? There's also a package for that. People often refer... Oh, I, I mean, make, make use, is it make application? Did you mean this application? I uh, I mean this word. For Python, as the Swiss Army knife of programming languages. As April, how are you? Almost anything with it. 
in this course will start to build up your data science coding skills bit by bit. So make sure to stick around to see how powerful the language make can Make sure be. stick Currently, around. There are two common versions of Python, version 2.7 and 3.5. Apart from some syntactical differences, should they then load it? But a support for version 2 will fade over time. Our courses focus on Python 3. To install Python 3 on your own system, follow the steps at this URL. Now that you're all eyes and ears for Python, let's start experimenting. How to click? I'll start with the Python shell, a place where you can type Python code and immediately see the results. In DataCamp's exercise interface, this shell is embedded here. Let's start off simple and use Python as a calculator. Let me type 4 plus 5 and hit enter. Python interprets what you type and prints the result of your calculation, 9. The Python shell that's used here is actually not the original one. We're using IPython, short for Interactive Python. IPython is some kind of juiced up version of regular Python that'll be useful later on. IPython was created by Fernando Perez and is part of the broader... Fernando Jupiter Perez. Ecosystem. Apart from interactively working with Python, you can also have Python run, so-called Python scripts. These Python scripts are simply text files with the extension .py. It's basically a list of Python commands that are executed almost as if you were typing the commands in the shell yourself, line by line. Let's put the command from before in a script now, which can be found here in DataCamp's interface. The next step is executing the script by clicking Submit Answer. If you execute this script in the DataCamp interface, there's nothing in the output pane. That's because you have to explicitly use print inside scripts if you want to generate output during execution. Let's wrap our previous calculation in a print call and rerun the script. This time, the same output as before is generated. Great. Putting your code in Python scripts instead of manually retyping every step interactively Hi. will help you to keep structure and avoid retyping everything over and over again if you want to make a change. You simply make the change in the script and rerun the entire thing. Now that you've got an idea about different ways of working with Python, I suggest you head over to the exercises. Use the IPython shell for experimentation and use the Python script editor to code the actual answer. If you click submit answer, your script will be executed and check for correctness. Get coding and don't forget to have fun. Don't forget to have fun. Okay, got it. Dictionary. Come browse, make use of. Ah, it, it, it is meaning right things to employ for some purpose put into service make use of all. okay things to avail oneself of apply to one's own purposes ah okay example do not in the python ah experiment in the ipython shell type 5 5 okay 5 slash 8 add another line of code to the python script on the top right not in shelf print 7 plus 10 okay add another line of code to the python script on the top right Top right here. Ah, oh, yes, Mac. Hello. Print. But ah, print. Seven plus ten. Okay, and space to space. What's new? Yes, Mac. Hit submit answer. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much. For fire. Hit submit answer to execute the Python script and execute feedback. Ah, great. On to the next one. Continue. Python is a pretty versat versatile language. Versatile means that we have different, different uh, directions of use for which applications can use Python. You want to do some quick calculation for your new businesses, you want to develop a database during a website, your boards ask you to clean and analyze the results of the last satisfaction survey, all of the above. I think that all. 
yes because uh, I remember that for any direction yes great any comments something that Philip didn't mention in his videos is that you can add comments to your Python scripts Comments are important to make sure that you and others can understand what you code, what your code is about. Ah, okay. To add comments to your Python script, you can use the hashtag. These comments are not run as Python code, so they will not influence your result. As an example, take the comment on the right division. It is completely ignored during execution. At the buff, uh, the print 7 plus add the comment addition. Okay. We can do. Ah. Division, addition. Correct. Super. Python is perfectly suited to do basic calculation apart from addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Need to learn subtraction, sub subtraction, multiplication, and division. There is uh, support for more advanced operations such as exponential, which is it math. This operator raises the number to its left to the power of the number to its right. For example, four. Four exponential two will give sixteen. Yes, right. 4 to 4 is modulo. This operator returns the remainder of the division of the number to the left by the number on its right. For example, 8 and 7 equals 4. What? Return the remainder of the division. Ah, it is diff. Diff and mod. It is mod. Like a uh, fourteen will be fourteen. Division seven will be two, and uh, modular number to the left. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Why are you learning Python all of a sudden? Because I want to learn data. I want to learn data and uh, one of the, not quickest, but one of the ways to learn data, it is learn sub science, sub fields of marketing. And uh, data programming, it is one of the fields of of uh, data science. Um, for example, one person said his name is Sa Rash Raval. It is data uh, data analysts. Sa Rash Raval. Or, or how to say how to uh, see Rash, C Rush, sorry. I we can see one video today I wished it it is about three months one on three three month no, no no ah learn data science that science here look we have I watched it and I want to show you thing one thing We have this and look. For we have different types of job data roles. It is data analyst, machine learning engineer, data engineer and data scientist and for each of them 
each of roles of the roles you should learn special skills and blue color is very important skill green is somewhat important and not that important is uh, our purple and we have programming tools data visual visualizing and communication maybe i have something of it data visualization because i can visualize uh, like drawings and uh, visualizing for education at least i have data intuition i don't know what is it statistics also we have data wrangling i don't know what is wrangling wrangling it's like a doing things like a uh, wrangling with your <laughs> your want from harry harry potter wrangling it sounds like a verb of doing circle circle cir circle action movement machine learning software engineering multivariable calculus and li linear algebra 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 i don't know how to say it this things in data science you should learn one moment just let's open one moment Worse. It's like data mangling, mangling, ETL, data transformation, data cleansing, modeling. Ah, it is like, for example, we, we have five penguins and these penguins, we can think like a we can think about penguins like a animal and also we can think about think about penguins like a food for example five penguins it is uh, 25 meals for daily breakfast is it transformation data transformation or not or it or it's something or something what's an example of that data transformation maybe i'm not so smart and clever i'm beginner think like you have several spurses of data in different formats you want to merge them into one and then make ah have several sources of data in different formats you want to merge them into one and then make it useful for analysis you have several sources of data ah for example we have five penguins from one zoo zoo park and we have three giraffes from uh, another another zoo and we can connect two different formats of giraffes and penguins and find one one same criteria to connect them one criteria is uh, for example will be animal and do you really intend to work in that field intent uh, what does it mean one moment intent meaning have a course of action its own person of intention i don't plan but i really interesting in i really interested in uh, 
I, I want to analyze my information and I want to learn how does it work. I want to analyze my audience. I want to analyze interests of my audience and how to do this faster. And if I will have some tools or skills to analyze information about my audience from YouTube, from uh, Instagram account, from something else, it will be really useful if I will know by myself than if I will hire somebody else in the future, maybe after five years. Do you understand? Do you understand me? <laughs> but thanks so much for the question. Hi, Del. You have Excel sheet with customer visitors and animals from different zoos. Then you can compare data from zoo to make a decision about popularity of zoo, favorite animals. Ah, good. I understood. For example, from first from f first first zoo has penguins, giraffes and zebras and second has giraffes, zebras and lions and second second zoo has really big amount of customers and you will think hmm why and after comparing you will learn aha it is i know why i know reason why because second zoo has lions instead of penguins Yes, exactly. The skills will be useful in future jobs. Is intelligent enough uh, to comprehend or at least use powerful tools? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks so much. The skills will be useful in future jobs. And uh, future jobs... Uh, I, 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 I watched video about... Um, about it. I watched video when... Sa si si Siraj talked about growth, growth of influence of uh, data, data science in nowadays. And what the jobs of future? <laughs> Interesting. Who knows? <laughs> right in the comment section. Suppose you have... Uh, suppose... You have uh, $100, okay, which you can invest with uh, a tender return each year. After one year, it's uh, one, two, 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 one, one, zero dollars. Wow, really, really cool, really cool, really cool. Uh, what's a task? I like, I like this math. <laughs> it is math class. <laughs> and after two years, it's uh, 100 uh, Multiplication 1.1, 1. 1, multiplication 1.1 1. 1 is equaling for 1 to 1. Add code to calculate how much money you can you end up with after 7 years. You should do this 7 times. And uh, how to do this. If we will do... Ah, 1... Oh... D -d 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 maybe print one dot one dot this uh, two sparks to seven and after that oh no no can i use this thing when one print no no, no. and 100 Maybe like this. Submit answer. Am I right? Am I wrong? Wow! Mind games! Yes! <laughs> it is math class. Wow. I never thought that I'm so... <laughs> so smart. 
to to how to say it, to nail to nail this uh, <laughs> these tasks. So Rational has even tutorials how to set up startups which work automatically and generate passive income. But for that, it's useful to be able to read Python. Ah, okay. And uh, do you know entrepreneur called uh, Gary Vaynerchuk? I will. I will spell it. Vaynerchuk. I like to watch him, by the way. For me, he's interesting person. He always speaks uh, about uh, social media, social media content and uh, about consistent work in this field. Okay, variables and types. New lesson, wow. Guys, we did it. One more level, oh sorry, one more level has reached let's learn it well done and welcome back it's clear that python is a great calculator if you want to do more complex calculations though you will want to save values while you're coding along you can do this by defining a variable with a specific case sensitive name once you create or declare such a variable you can later call up its value by typing the variable name suppose you measure your height and weight in metric units you're 1.79 meters tall and weigh 68.7 kilograms. You can assign these values to two variables named height and weight with an equal sign. Mm -hmm. If you now type the name of the variable height, Python looks for the variable name, retrieves its value and prints it out. Let's now calculate the body mass index or BMI, which BMI? is calculated as follows with weight in kilograms and height in meters. What does it you mean? Do this with the BMI, values. BMI. You can just as well use the BMI is index. But for what? BMI it is... Uh, maybe he said... Okay. Variables height and weight, like here. Every time you type the variable's name, you're asking Python to reference the actual value of the variable. Weight corresponds to 68.7 and height to 1.79. Finally, this version has Python store the result in a new variable BMI. BMI now contains the same value as the one you calculated earlier. In Python, variables are used all the time. They help to make your code... Re one moment. Did you have linear algebra like matrix vectors? Python is perfect for that. Yes, I know... I know... Matrix uh, and vectors, but I, I'm not so... Um, how to say it? I'm not so smart in it, but I know sa some basics. How does it work? I know basics, but not uh, like advanced level. Reproducible. Suppose the code to create the height, weight, and BMI variables are in a script. We had, we had lessons of uh, linear algebra on my first course of institute four years ago. Like this. If and I thought that is uh, not super useful before. If you now want to recalculate the BMI for another weight, you can simply change the declaration of the weight variable and rewrite. But right now, maybe I will change my because the value of the variable opinion. weight has changed as well. So far, we've only worked with numerical values such as height and weight. In Python, these numbers all have a specific type. You can check out the type of a value with the type function. To see the type of our float. BMI value, simply write type and then BMI inside parentheses. You can see that it's a float, which is Python's way of representing a real number. So a number which can have both an integer part and a fractional part. Python also has a type for integers, int, like this example. To do data science, you'll need more than ints and floats though. Python features tons of other data types. The most common ones are strings and booleans. A string is Python's way to represent text. You can use both double and single quotes to build strings, a string. okay? As you can see from these examples. Strings, it's, if you it is the last for here, you see that message. STR, short for string. The Boolean is a type that can either be true or false. Mm -hmm. You can think of this as yes and no in every okay. language. Booleans will be very useful Bool. in the future to perform filtering operations on your data, for example. Boolean algebra. About Python data types. Have a look at this line of code that sums two integers and then this line of code that sums two strings. For the integers, 
the values were summed. Well, for the strings, the strings were pasted together. The plus operator behaved differently for different oh, data okay. types. This is a general principle. How the code behaves depends on the types you're working with. In the exercises that follow, you'll create your first variables and experiment with some of Python's data types. I'll see you in the next video to explain okay. all about... Okay, got it. With Python, you get much more fee... fee. For Mantics, just knowing the basic rules to understand the mechanics is enough. Mechanics is enough. If Datacamp won't cover it enough, I'll find you a good source. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. I want to improve my English, by the way. I want to... I don't know what should I learn in English right now. Because I want to go abroad and sometimes I don't understand specific language, specific and slang language from one person. Right now I understand, and right now I understood, I understood what does this person, what, what this person said, I understood have said this what we watched but more specific language I don't understand sometimes and I don't know what should I improve next what's my points of growth in Python a variable allows you to refer to a value with a name to create a variable use like this example x uh, is equaling 5. You can now use the name of this variable instead of the actual value 5. Remember, Python means a assignment. Assignment. Assignment, it means it doesn't test equality. Ah, assignment. Is it assignment in, r in rational language is присваивание. Isn't it? Or am I right or not? Assignment задание. Hmm. Create a variable savings with the value 100. Okay. Ah, thanks. Savings. Savings uh, will be... One Should I write integer or not? Yes, in this context you assign value to a variable with... Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. Integer. Should I write it or not? Or should I print? Print savings. Maybe like this. Let's check it. Why? Are specified differently. Trace back most recent call last file script line four in model. Savings. Ah, this way. It is. Uh, what's name of this in in English language? When you have a mistake, and it is typo. Typo, yes. When we have mistake of typing, typing on keyboard. Okay, typo. Thanks. Remember how I calculated the money you ended up with after seven years of investing? One hundred dollars. You did. Slava, do you have investments in your life? 
do you have investments in your bank account from uh, maybe 20 years old? And uh, do you do you, adv do you advise to me to do investments in bank account? Should I do this or not? Clicking through Ravel's video, I see, I see, and you'll need a starting capital. Will, well, fuck up. Starting. Clicking through Ravel's videos, I see, I see. And you need a starting capital. A starting capital, a capital, it is, is it first money, yes, to start your, your some, some, uh, to start your deal. Instead of calculating with the actual values, you can use variables set. I should have, I used to, I used to have, now most money are in the house, lol. Now it's good moment to do market analysis for long term in case markets will fall. Then it's buying for low price. Is it true that uh, right now, in this very moment, world, especially America and uh, East, no, West, West side, West side of the world has intention or tension of starting like crisis, crisis and problems with uh, world economy falling tendency. Buying what though? Tendency. Ten tendency. Is it is it true that uh, so soon maybe will be new crisis or how to say crisis world worldwide? You never know what's in Trump's Alzheimer hat. <laughs> Most people just want economy to grow and do business. Mm. Thanks. Okay. Create a variable growth multiplier. Equal. Okay. Uh, growth. Multiplier, plier, and it is, it is, it is equaling for for one point one. Okay, good. Create a variable result equal to the amount of money you saved after seven years. Print a ah, result will be. Let's do this. One hundred. Ah, will be savings. Yes, savings. Multiplication. <gasps> we can do one interesting thing. Years. We can create one more variable, and it will be seven. Ah, Igor. Ah, smart person. Oh. I'm smart. Multiplier. <laughs> Multiplier years. Because it will be... I remember my uh, informatic... Uh, my, my information technology... Technology classes from school and uh, our teacher said that uh, 
you should create uh, more variables if you want to have if you want to have good good programming progr programming script you should create more variables and it will be more easy to change variable and after that all will be changing it will be more uh, practical the print print result yes good is it interesting to see how i how i do this oh, what's what's wrong multiplier is not defined Ah, growth, growth. I forgot. Yes, great, super. Next, wow. In the previous exercise, you worked with two Python data types, int or integer, a number without a fractional part savings with the value of 100 is an example of an integer float or floating point, a number that has both an integer and fractional part separated by a point. Growth multiplier with the value 1.1 is an example of a float. Float. Float number. Okay. Next to numerical, numerical, numerical data, data types, there are two other very common data types. True, it is true, a string or a type to represent text. You can use single or double quotes to build a string. Bool or boolean. A type to represent logical values can only be true or false. The capitalization is important. Okay. Create a new string desk with the value compound interest. Compound interest. Okay. What is compound? Compound is it is like a connection with something. Desk will be com. Bound interest. Okay. I never gave readable names to my variables and I couldn't understand my own program after two years. <laughs> it's like a A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And after that you will see like, oh Jesus, I created alphabet for my variables and I don't remember what the what's a single of it means and uh, by the way Heidel think about this if you will create hashtag and after that a is for for example aviation for example yes aviation Aviation units. It will be more easy. It will be easier to understand your code. Yes, it will be more readable. More comments, more understanding. But comments should be, how to say it, smart, useful. Smart, useful means less text, more practical practical value desk okay create a new boolean profitable profitable true and that's all did you define the variable desk without errors desk ah desk yeah oh jesus submit Continue. The, that's all. Wow. Guess the type. To find out the type of a value or variable that refers to the value, you can use the type uh, ta -ta -ta function. Suppose you've defined a variable a, but you forgot the type of the variable to determine the type of a. Simply execute. Ah, okay, I understand it. Type A. We already went ahead and created three variables A, B, and C. You can use the I 
Python shall on the right to discover their types, which of the following option is correct. Ah, okay. Let's do type type A next uh, type B good type C ah Jesus type B I will strain and see why type C bull type A again float A is float B is straight and C is bull yes submit good continue operations with other types Philip mentioned that different types behave differently in Python when you sum two strings, for example, you'll get different behavior than when you sum two integers or two booleans. In the script, some variables with different types have already been created. It's up to you to use them. Calculate the product of savings and growth multipliers. Store the results in year one. Okay, need to year one first. What do you think the resulting type will be? Find out by printing out the type of year one. Year one will be integer or float. Float or integer? I think float. Float, maybe. Because uh, integer to multiplication to float will be float my opinion about it okay let's do this uh, calculate the products uh, okay savings so, to, 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 to. growth multiplier what do you think the resulting type will be we'll find out printing out the type of year one calculate the sum of desk and desk uh, and store the result in a variable double desk Okay. Desk. Ah. Type of a year one. Print. Type. Year one. Maybe like this. Good, huh? witty and smarty da, 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 da. nuts calculate the sum of desk and desk uh, desk double desk okay double desk should I double desk will be Compound interest, compound interest will be. I, I guess. Isn't it? And right now, print double desk. I hope I did correct. Class float. Yes, float. Compound interest, compound is correct. Nice. Notice how desk plus desk causes compound interest and compound is to be passed together. Yes, you should do plus. Uh, what should I use? I should use space if I want to create uh, not passed together thing. Type conversation. One moment. I will. I will light on like this way here uh, using the uh, this 
addition operator to pass together two strings can be very useful in building custom messages. Suppose, for example, that you've calculated the return of your investment. Return of your investment, Roy, and want to summarize the results in a string. Assuming the float savings and result are defined, you can try something like this. I started with uh, data savings plus and uh, now have result plus awesome. Interesting. This will not work, though, as you can simply sum through strings and floats. To fix error, you'll need to explicitly conv conv convert the types of your variables. More specifically, you'll need string. To convert a value into string, string savings, for example, will convert the float savings to a string. Ah, I understand it. I understood. A similar function such as uh, integer, float, and bool. Okay, it will help you convert Python values into any type. Okay, print. I started with. Fix the print out. Should I use store savings? Yes. Next. I started with dollar plus savings plus how have a ah, dollar savings and how have plus result result a ah, string string again result yeah music and hit run code to run the code <laughs> try to understand the error of message files to the inline 8 in model as to the inline <laughs> Can convert integer object to string implicitly. I did understand. Saving. Yes, we have savings. Yes. Did you just yawn? Maybe. Ah, oh, by the way, I sh. I should improve my camera. I should improve more more lighting. <laughs> Int savings. Int savings. Okay, let's Total result. Okay. Trace back most recent call last. Can we convert int object to straight implicity? Hmm. I think that. If we will use print, if we will use print, I did understand. I didn't understand this. Awesome. P string. What is definition of P string? Convert P string into float. Ah, by the way, P float. P. string and that will be my Jesus Christ did 
to go straight. Pick the code that the printout. Okay, let's. STD in line 7 in model. Print. I started with can't convert int object to str impli implicitly. We have here text. Print text. This is variable. This is variable too. To connect two variables, I should I should do int no true and here float. No, Jesus, what what did they do? Savings. Okay. Result. Yes. Before submitting, okay. Can convert integer object to stray implicity. We should six six line six line is here. Print. Hmm. <laughs> we can be <laughs> witty. And create like a this way, but it will be uh, cheating. I think that is not what developers wanted to result. Okay, let's do no. Mm, what should it be? In no str result or maybe I know submit okay rerun here maybe this way. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe I'm right. And here will be float. Hmm? Yes. Yes, correct. Awesome. What script PT output I started with? P. Maybe this way. Yes. Yes, we did it together. Great. You have a profit of around 95 percent uh, 90 
five dollars. That's pretty awesome indeed. Wow! Really? After seven years we have this large number? Wow! It is profit $95. But maybe it will be... But maybe inflation will be. Now that you know something more about... Thank you f so much for helping. Oh, helping. Now that you know something more about combining different sources of information, have a look at the four Python expression below, which one of these will throw an error. You can always copy and paste this code in the IPython shell to find out. I can add integers like uh, plus to strings. Which one of this will throw an error? I said, hey. True plus false. Let's check it. Oh, maybe true false one okay no i can add integers like plus stir five what is five yes i said hey double two plus hey the correct answer to this multiple choice success answer number plus two. I think this. Correct. Want to learn more? What? What? I I I I have achieved and <laughs> Please pay. <laughs> yes. That's that's all. Continue, okay. Good job. Chapter 1. We have basics. Wow. We learned basics of Python. Upgrade your account to continue. <laughs> Get access. Ah, uh, okay. All first chapters. Okay. That's all. Get five challenges collected, earn experience. Need to there should be more in Python. I should. Relax for a couple of minutes or maybe more. My throat, my throat is is going away. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why my voice is so. How to say it is harmful. 
I want to improve healthy. Can you become a data scientist? We learned so much. Now let's invest some money. <laughs> yes, Kaidel. Kaidel, where where from? Okay, let's open. What did you recommend more? I will open Slava right now. You wrote to me. One moment. Where is it? Here. I will open phone. From the world's best university and institution. EDX. EDX.org. Is it Coursera? Do you know Coursera website? Accelerate your future, learn anytime, anywhere. Wait. Need some music on the background. One moment. Maybe it will be this. Is paid Coursera is good. Oh. 